Hello, this is Craig from Ultra Real. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Pro Builder with mesh tools for Surforge. So, to start with, make sure you have Pro Builder installed. I've already got it installed here. Start by creating some geometry at the origin of the Surforge U feed plane. Okay, I'm just going to make a make a, a cube shape here and just extrude it out, give it some depth. Oops. All right, when you're doing these uh, UV projection renders like this, you want to make sure that you have angles on the edges because otherwise you'll, you won't see it when it renders on here. Okay, and uh, so we can actually see what we're working with here. Uh, let's take and go back into, I'm going to go back in the object mode. I'm going to go under Surforge and uh, under uh, Add Details, there's a material. Uh, okay, so these are the, <clears throat> these are the, uh, uh, the, they correspond to the material numbers that you have uh, inside the interface. So uh, you can take one of these and say, take this, uh, the most common one is this floater one. You can just take that and put that on your model. And now if you hit the space bar, you'll, you'll see it renders right on the, the, the surface here. So that's what it'll look like right there. Uh, as I said, kind of want to keep everything centered at the origin. So I'm just going to start adding some shapes here. I'll add a, uh, let's add, we'll add some stairs. Okay, and we'll take and rotate them so we have those little edges popping out. Yeah, that might be kind of cool. Let's uh, shrink it a little bit. <clears throat> now, one thing interesting about making these shapes is you don't actually have to make them look correct close up because all we care about is the view from the top. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna add, uh, I'll try adding a, a cone, that might be interesting. Okay, so there's our cone. I'll put the cone over here. And now if I render it as is without applying the materials, you notice you don't see anything because uh, Surforge only sees its own shaders. So uh, I'm gonna take and uh, I'll put a different one on here. I'll put uh, this one, the, the number one, put that there. So now when you render it, you can see it. You can see it right there. And uh, I'll add some another shape in there. The Taurus, that'll be interesting. All right, so there's our Taurus. And uh, let's see what material I can put on here. We'll put this one on there, right? All right, and then uh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful work of art. All right, so let's convert this to a detail object. So the first thing you want to do is create a new game object. Oops, create a new game object, an empty game object, and uh, you don't have to name it, uh, but make sure that the transformations are all set to zero. So I'm going to reset that. I'm going to take all the parts I made. I'm going to parent it to this. Okay, make sure it's kind of the right height uh, off the uh, the plane. Like I actually want this to be down under the plane a little bit so that uh, it uh, renders correctly when it renders out here. Because you'll notice the further things are away from that plane, they'll render kind of a dark area around it. This is to simulate the, the height of the object. All right, so I've got everything parented the way I like it. And uh, all you have to do now is right click, do the Mesh Tools for Surforge, save it. And we're going to put it the prefab in a directory. We're going to call this Pro builder panel and we'll save it and notice there's our little panel and you do the exact same process from the uh, uh, from the main tutorial locate this place meshes take the pro builder panel and add it to the place message it'll pop up on the bottom here and actually uh, let's uh, let's create an icon for this so I'm going to do the uh, snipping tool. Here we go. Boop. 
like that. I'm gonna save it. Okay. And uh, grab the uh, Pro Builder Prefab panel here, panel prefab, and I'm going to replace Do the exact same one for the lights. Okay. Save the project again here. And then open the project again. And uh, I don't really care about saving the scene. Okay, so we can delete this. We don't need it anymore. And uh, if we go down to here, there's our new tool. You can do all the fancy little things with it. That's it.